Hello Internet, Doug Redmond here, and what I'm going to show you is an integration between Vault and PLM360. Now, keep in mind, this isn't a good integration. This is a very, very basic integration. In fact, this really stretches the definition of what an integration is to its most extreme limit. So, in the real world, you're probably not going to um, use this on its own as an integration. Uh, but the reason I'm showing it to you is that if you're building an integration, uh, this might be part of it, or this might give you an idea of, of how you can kind of enhance that integration. So what I have here is PLM360, and uh, this is just kind of... Uh, some default data that was in uh, the tenant when it got created for me. And one of the workspaces it has is this tasks workspace. So I get some entries in there. And I have also have a vault, vault professional. And I've got a custom object <coughs> defined called tasks. And I have some entries in here as well. And these entries have vault data in them and they're hooked to vault files and they're very vaulty whereas in PLM we've got these records that have all these PLM status stuff. So let me show you how um, we can do kind of a very basic integration here. Um, let's say that I want to be able to uh, correlate these records with each other and I want to be able to view the PLM data from uh, Vault Explorer. So if you have my uh, WebView app, which I uploaded recently, uh, here is one way that you can integrate the two. So now one of the first things you need to do is uh, make sure that the properties are set right. So I've got this PLM ID, which I got from the URL. So I've got this task here in PLM called Gather Customer Requirements, and I've got the same entry here in Vault. Now how you get that entry in there, that's not something WebView is going to do for you. You've got to figure out how to get the, the custom object created, and you've got to figure out how to get this property set. But the idea is, you look at this this section right here where it says DMS ID, that's the ID of this item in PLM. So we just store that as a custom Vault property. And now we <coughs> now Vault kind of knows about that PLM object. So if we want to view it, let's just do that with a web tab. So go into configure web view, I'm going to add a new tab. This one is going to just call it PLM360. And I'm going to associate that with the task uh, entity type, my, my custom object. And for the URL, we're just going to kind of take this whole thing here. Um, so <coughs> this part right here, this workspace ID, this just workspace ID 2, that means the tasks workspace. So I'm just going to, since this tab is only for tasks in Vault, um, I'm fine just copying this part here. In fact, all of this is good except for this DMS ID part. So I'm, uh, I'm going to copy the whole URL in and set that for the, for the value. Then I'm just going to change this DMS ID. Instead of being a, a fixed value, I want it to, to read that Vault property right here. So in, inside these little curly brackets, I'm going to put PLM ID. And then I'm going to save that off, and then it's going to tell me to restart. Because um, the, the way it works is the you need to restart if you want to see a new tab. Okay, so now when I select on the object, 
I've got my PLM 360 tab and I've, I've already logged in previously so I didn't have to log in again uh, and it just it took me right to that page and if I go to my other uh, item it, it loads that page as well so here we have it right technically <laughs> the two are integrated now inside of this web view you you can navigate around if you want and you can even um, edit data in PLM or whatever um, but just keep in mind wh whatever you do inside of this tab has no effect on the vault data at all so if I went in and I renamed my uh, my item in PLM that's not going to cause the vault item to change or anything like that um, that would be something you would have to figure out in your own integration but it, it it's a nice quick and dirty way to get a view um, uh, of of uh, PLM data inside of vault and this technique can be used with you know pretty much anything um, where the data is up in the web so you know things like SharePoint or whatever uh, as long as you can go into that URL and uh, uh, kind of tweak it with, with a property value, um, you should be able to view it in, in WebView. So that's it. Just kind of a quick little tip uh, to share with you guys. So hope you learned something.